Hey, this is JD, FIA. I uh, just want to do a quick video on the tritone substitution uh, while doing a 2 5 or 1 chord progression. Um, I'll show you in the key of C. For just for starting off purposes, uh, a basic 2 5. You know, a basic. Alright? Okay, and then we can make that 2 chord, a 7 chord, and do a 2 5 1 do it. Like that, two five one. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on uh, the tritone substitution. Basically, what's happening is um, any chord, any chord that's a tritone away from the chord that you playing is a is a is a substitution chord that you can use instead of playing the original chord. Uh, for example, if I want to do a uh, <clears throat> the way I, the way that I find a tritone is I can find two ways. I can say either a sharp four sharp four or or a flat five so uh, in the key of C my two chord is going to be D it's going to be a D minor chord right okay so to find a tritone away from D I go up a sharp five or I'm sorry I go up a sharp four or a flat five the fifth in a fifth away from D is A because when I play my D chord whether I play a D minor or D major my fifth is going to be this A <clears throat> In this case, I'm going to be playing D minor because I'm playing in the key of C. Um, so once I find out uh, where my fifth is, I just take that fifth and I flat it. So my my tritone away from D is A flat right here. So what that means is if I'm doing a 2-5-1, that means that by the rules, I can, I can substitute my D minor chord with an with a A flat dominant 7 chord. And it'll work. Um, and you're gonna have to play a seventh chord, meaning you gotta have your dominant seven, which is A flat. And if you don't understand these terms, uh, I did previous videos that kind of goes through uh, describing uh, these these scale positions. But we got our uh, on, on an A flat seven chord. We have an A flat in the left hand. We have our dominant seven, which is G flat. Uh, we have our ninth, which is B flat. Our third, which is major third, which is A flat, or which is C. And our fifth which is E flat, when you do the A flat major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Hence, the dominant seven. So if I'm playing, uh, if I'm playing a two chord, I could play this dominant seven chord, A flat dominant seven, instead of playing a D minor chord. So that's here. So I'm gonna play a two, five, one chord, but instead of playing, instead of playing two, five, like that, I'm gonna play it with the, uh, Tritone substitution, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me. Uh, well, I'll just let you hear. Then go to my five, and then one. So you got two five regular, or you got the two five with the tritone substitution. A little bit smoother, and. and look at the chord, if you look at your tritone substitution chord, it's going to give you just a half step to go to your 5 chord, because G is my 5 chord in the key of C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So by doing that, I'm just a half step away, and I just bring everything down and play my 5 chord. I can play G7, good old G7, number 1 chord. Now, I can also, I can also tritone substitute in my do a tritone substitution on my five chord. Uh, my five chord is G. And so I say, well, ask myself, what is a tritone away from G? Well, the fifth in G is G, A, B, C, D. It's D. A flat five is D flat, or we can say a sharp four. One, two, three, four, and then a sharp four. D flat is going to give us the same note. Augmented fourth to diminished fifth is what it's called. Um, so now I can play the same kind of chord, a D flat seven, Dominant bass chord, major chord dominant, instead of playing this G chord here. Uh, if I want to. So I got my two chord, I play my one, I'll play a two five one using my, my regular, here's a regular again. One chord, two, five, one. Now if I want to do it with my um, tritone substitution, I just say You hear that? Again, probably do it like that. So, um, 
two ways you can play it. You can play it perfect. Perfect. Yeah, perfect like that. Uh, just play a regular D flat dominant bass, major seven, D flat seven chord. Uh, left hand is going to be D flat, right hand is going to be B, E flat, F, and uh, A flat. And what that does is that gives me a. Do it again. The first way. Regular two by one, and then substituting the five chord for the tritone substitution, which is going to be this D flat chord. So. And also, what you can do is you can substitute uh, the whole thing out. You can say um, two, five, one. See, I did it. It's a tritone substitution for my two chord playing the A flat. Then I can play my tritone substitution for the G, which is going to be B flat. So it just gives you it gives you other interesting ways to play it. Instead of hearing that same old two five one, gives you you know something different. Or and the reason the reason why they work because if you look at if you look at the we we'll look at the two chords look at this two chord real quickly. If I look at my uh, if I find my dominant seven and my major third, which is going to be in the key of D, my dominant seven is going to be C, and my major third is going to be G flat. If I this is for D. If I look at the same uh, dominant seven and uh, major third for A flat, which is a tritone away, it's going to be dominant seven is going to be G, and my major third is going to be A flat. So the reason why those chords are interchangeable is because the two most important notes in the chords are the same notes, the major third and the dominant seven. So any kind, any time a chord shares shares that same major third and dominant seven, those chords are completely interchangeable anytime you want to. So uh, now we know what we can do instead of doing a regular two five one, we can do a two five one with the trap tone substitute. Now that's a lot of times what I'll do if I'm playing in church or something like that. A lot of times I hit my two chord, D minor nine. Then I go to my five chord, or I go to my, I play my two chord, and then I play my substitution for the two chord, and then my five, and then my one. Uh, or I may do it the other way around by playing my uh, one chord. So put that again. This kind of adds just a different feel to your playing. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Well, thank you.